welcome back everyone. As most of you know, I actually have been going around and comparing all of the older iPhones to the latest ones that have been coming out. And what's crazy to me is how good of an iPhone the iPhone 8 Plus is. And it's crazy because this is a pretty outdated design. It's nothing super crazy. But when I pick up that iPhone 8 Plus and I compared it against the iPhone 13, even in that video, I kind of stated that it's pretty shocking how decent of a phone the iPhone 8 Plus is. I already kind of knew the iPhone 10 was going to be pretty good but the 8 plus is better than what i expected now i want to preface that by saying the 8 plus is a pretty slow phone you know it's not the greatest the cameras aren't amazing anymore and it's definitely gone down in value quite a bit from where it started but it's definitely one thing is for sure it's definitely not that 700 dollars 800 dollars phone when it first came out you know it's gone down in value quite a bit it's around that 200 dollars price tag and when i compare this 200 and you know 250 dollars phone against the iphone 13 that's 800 and $29. I mean, it's pretty impressive of the phone that you're still getting for that price tag. Now, the first thing that shocked me about the iPhone 8 Plus still, it's no secret, that build quality of the 8 Plus is still top tier. This is still a very good feeling phone. And when I hold that iPhone 13 and I hold the iPhone 8 Plus, there are some ways where the iPhone 8 Plus feels a little bit more premium than the iPhone 13. And I, I mean, I would definitely say the iPhone 13 is the more premium one. It looks way more premium and all that stuff. But the curved side of the iPhone 8 Plus still feels really good. That glass back of the iPhone 8 Plus still looks really good. Even, even though the one I have is cracked, it is still pretty impressive how good feeling of a phone that iPhone 8 Plus is. It definitely isn't perfect, but it definitely feels pretty good in the hand. Now, the next thing is really the performance of it. Yes, it is much slower than the iPhone 13. There were several cases where the 8 Plus was just, you know, blown away by the iPhone 13, but I still feel like if I wasn't comparing them side by side, I still would feel like the iPhone 8 Plus is a pretty good performing phone. I wouldn't say it's amazing anymore, but it's a pretty decent performing phone when compared to the iPhone 13. The fluidity and everything and the biggest thing to keep in mind is iOS at its core is so smooth that it really isn't going to be bogged down by all the apps that you have in the background and all that good stuff because the iPhone 8 Plus is running on iOS you know 15. Now 15 is definitely not the smoothest software. I just installed 15.0.2 yesterday but to be honest this is still a pretty decent performing phone and I think when it comes down to it it's actually pretty good for the price tag. You know for 250 less than 300 it's a pretty decent performing phone for that you know value per dollar. Now, the other thing, you know, there's like several things all across the board. I mean, the battery life isn't amazing anymore, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty much what you'd expect. The cameras on this thing, again, aren't perfect, but they get the job done. And I think that's, you know, better safe. And I think that's a better thing than not. You have IP certification, wireless charging, and Touch ID still on this phone, which some people may prefer. And when it comes down to it, I'm actually a huge fan of this phone. Again, I don't think it's perfect, but I think it gets the job done. And I'm more of a fan of it than not, to be completely honest, so... That pretty much covers it up here. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.